guys and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you are back. Either way, thank you so so much for clicking on my video today. Um, if you are new, my name is Rabbit and my pronouns are they them. And um, okay, today's video is super exciting. Um, basically, I had two inspirations when it came to this video, um, or I guess three technically. Okay, first was the fact that like there were these Monster High themed earrings that were released that were $50 and they were like the skelet. Um, and $50 felt like a lot, so um, an affordable version I thought would be like a cool idea. Um, second, someone commented, the best comment ever, they were like, on my uh, video about like monster high complaints, they were like, oh my god, it looks like they just chopped off a brush head and put it onto an earring. And I was like, oh my god, you are a genius because that like finally solves my problems because I've been trying to do this like Frankie Stein cosplay, but I was procrastinating on it because I didn't want to make um, earrings out of clay. And when someone mentioned like you could just use the brushes, I was like, that's freaking genius. So thank you, thank you, thank you for leaving that comment. I'll try to post it if I can find it, but I don't know that I screenshotted it. So I'm so sorry, but thank you for that comment. You were a genius and I love you. This video is thanks to you. And third inspiration, I'll post a little picture here or like link them down below. This Tumblr post that was um, someone's DIY Monster High jewelry from like little accessories and like broken pieces of Monster High stuff and I just thought it was like so genius. So um, yeah, that's where this video <coughs> ring. Um, that's where this video inspiration is coming from. So <laughs> basically it's a DIY on how to make, let me go get them, these Monster High earrings, skullet earrings. Um, you could do them in any color you wanted. I just did blue because I was doing a Frankie Stein cosplay and also to kind of show that you could make them look like the Maisie Wyland ones. A Monster High uh, pin. You can just like put this on clothes and stuff. And this idea was directly from, um, inspired by that person who posted the Tumblr post. It's a little Monster High hair clip, but it also is going to be used as a tie clip. Now let's get on to the actual tutorial. Okay, so I have these brushes. First step is to use something sharp. In this case, I'm using like a little pair of pliers to cut off all the little spikes and try to get it as close as you can. You can always go again if it does if it's um, not quite close enough. If you don't have little pliers, a strong pair of kitchen scissors would probably work or a little pair of strong like nail scissors or nail clippers maybe. And I am making one pair of earrings and one sort of pin. Um, I'm doing them for my Frankie Stein cosplay that I started at the beginning of quarantine two years ago, which is ridiculous to think about now. And now I'm gonna go outside and spray them with some Mr. Super Clear. You can use whatever kind of matte spray you have. This will just ensure that paint is able to stick to it a little easier. So I'll be back. Okay, got this little backing for a pin and um, the brush. Hot glue then, gonna attach them together. <laughs> Perfect. That is attached for now. Might have to reattach it later. That's all right. If you wanted something more permanent, you could use like super glue or something. Anyway, now that I have something else that I can hold it from while I paint, I'm gonna go ahead and chop the this the handle of the brush off. Perfect. That actually worked really well. It's a little pointy. You could always sand it down, but I am too lazy do that. And with the brush handle, I might just attach it to a hair clip backing and make like a little Monster High logo hair clip. Perfect. Silver paint. Uh, I'm just using this one. I might go over with some enamel to make it extra shiny later, but we'll see how it looks after this. I kind of want to leave the eyes and the nose black but we'll see how it looks when it's fully painted. But I think it might like make it look a little more dimensional, even though hers is like all silver. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. And once the first layer dries, I'll put another layer on. Yeah, I think I am gonna leave the eyes and the nose black. I think it kind of makes it pop a little bit more. But I will set it aside to dry and go ahead with another coat. It's dry, time for layer two. There we go. 
set them aside. I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. I don't know if I even, I honestly, oh, I might be too lazy to bother sealing him. Cause it's just for a cosplay. I'm like, not terribly upset with that. That looks pretty good. Then for the earring set, um, since they, you're gonna be swinging around and you're gonna be able to see the back, I'm gonna take some air dry clay. Normally I use um, clay that you bake in the oven, but since they're plastic and I don't wanna put plastic in the oven, I'm just gonna use some air dry one and um, it'll just be good in 24 hours. And I'm just gonna put it on the back to give it kind of a flat surface and then also so I can insert a little backing into it. I will recommend if you don't want, okay, if you are gonna try to poke a hole in these to make them into earrings, my recommendation would be to use a hammer and a nail on like a cutting board or, or something. I feel like a lot of times when I see people try to poke holes into like bottle caps and to make like DIY pins and stuff like that, they always pull out like a needle with a lighter and then use that to poke a hole in the thing, which is dangerous <laughs> and difficult. So please, I ask that if you are going to try to poke a hole into some plastic, use a hammer and a nail. It's much easier. I've like done that to make my own DIY like buttons and stuff in the past and it's um, the most effective and safe way I've found to do it. I'm just using a ball tool to kind of smooth out and I will replicate this on both sides. And yeah, it's not too heavy. I feel like it'll dry pretty nice and light. Oh my gosh, it looks really dusty. I'll have to clean it before I paint it. Or maybe it doesn't matter. It's gonna be painted over anyway. Gosh, I hate the texture of air dry clay. That's why I never freaking use it. I'm gonna take this little finding thingy. You could also just DIY one of these at a wire. It's just um, like a stick with a loop on top. Um, I think I just got this a while ago at a craft store like Michael's or something like that. Might have to put like hot glue or something on that. I don't know how well that will stay. Definitely skeptical about that. I bent it in kind of a little seated shape. So hopefully it stays in a little more firmly than it might otherwise. Yeah, that definitely feels a lot safer. So gonna set this guy aside to dry and when he's all dry, I'll paint him. Um, I wanted to just paint it all in one go and I don't wanna paint the clay while it's wet and I don't want the back and the front to be two different colors since I'll probably have to mix um, paint to get the right shade. So that's why I'm gonna wait to paint it tomorrow. So I'm gonna mix these two until I get a shade that I like for these earrings and um, I'm just holding onto the this part until it's fully painted and then I can chop it off. I just wanted to have like a little handle for while I'm painting. Um, but yeah, this is dried for pr not 24 hours fully, but I'm impatient. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it tonight. Um, so off we go. I think I want to do fully blue. Cool. So I'm gonna set this aside to dry and um, then do another coat and we'll see how it's looking. Going ahead with layer number two. I added a little bit of lighter blue paint to kind of make it a smidge brighter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this. And I was actually looking at Frankie's costume design and I noticed that she has some sort of like silver like tie pin. So I might actually try to uh, paint it silver and turn it into a fancy, fancy tie pin. Um, we'll see how it goes, but um, yeah, on to this. So I have um, this piece of chain that I found. It's, um, I don't know what it's from originally, but it was just broken in my jewelry box and it's nice and chunky. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it to make the earring chains for this. I also have some earring backs and some jump rings to connect everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these guys together. So I'm measuring out the number of chain links that I want to use and then using two pairs of pliers to kind of open up that chain and tear it apart. This one was really heavy duty, so it was kind of difficult. Then I take some of my little jump rings, open one of them, 
um, attach the earring back to it, attach the little piece of chain that I just broke, close up the jump ring, and we've got one earring piece. And then do the same thing with the other one. And then all that's left to do is use one more jump ring to attach um, the earring charms to the chain. So go ahead, slip that on, attach the chain part, and that part's done. Woohoo! Number one! Done! Oh my gosh, cool. Da -da 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 -da. Done! Okay. Okay, so they're fully dry, and I think they would look cool if they were a little bit shiny, so I went ahead and sprayed them with some matte spray, and now I'm gonna go in with Liquitex gloss varnish. Hope it works. Also, I guess if you didn't have um, gloss varnish, you could always use like Mod Podge um, or like some sort of liquid glue because that's what I used to always use before I had access to stuff like gloss and whatever. So yeah. Or um, clear nail varnish. I'm gonna go ahead and do two layers once it dries. So I'll show you these once they're fully complete. Maybe three layers. I actually usually do three layers when I do my doll eyes. So three layers will, will probably be. So see you then. So they're all glossed up and ready to go. Um, I ended up shortening the chain on the top because when I tried on the earrings with the neck bolt, they were like perfectly bumping into each other and it was super annoying. So I changed it from like five lengths to two. And I'm mad at myself because I originally thought I wanted to start with two. And I was like, no, I'll do five, whatever. And whatever, so it's annoying, but perfect. Love it. I would recommend measuring your chain before you cut it. And I'm so excited about this costume. It's gonna look so freaking cute. Okay, so that's um, the final result. Let me put them in for you guys and show the whole, the whole look, at least with this outfit. Um, I think they turned out pretty cute. I mean, the original ones weren't something that I was really interested in buying for myself. Maybe if I made these in pink, I'd like probably wear them a little bit more or just if I like kept them black. But like, this is what they look like. It's like, it's not bad. I kind of wish I didn't do them like all one solid color because I was looking at the Maisie Wild one and they're all sol one solid color, but I don't really love that. Um, so yeah, maybe if I made them again, I'd make them like pink on the outside with black eyes and like maybe I'd add some glitter. You could totally add some like glitter glue or glitter paint or just like whatever you wanted to these kind of things. Like, especially if the back like looks lumpy bumpy, a great way to like cover that up would be to put like some little stickers on it or just to like paint a little design or like whatever. You can even like find a picture of your favorite Monster High character, print it out, cut it out, Mod Potty just the back and now you have like a little double earring so when it swings around it's like, oh hey Dracula and then on the other side, yeah, okay, that might be what I make next. Okay, we'll see though because I don't really, <laughs> I don't know, I, I like have such a, I never liked the Skullet logo. I've like talked about this before. It was like the main reason I like refused to get into Monster High as a teenager and like I only got into it in my 20s because I finally like let go of this like fear of being like cringe or like looking cringe or whatever because for the longest time I was just like, nope, like I don't like the logo. I like refuse to get into it, like blah, 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 blah. And now it's like one of my favorite freaking things and I'm like so happy I found it because it like helped me find like this love of collection it helped me find like the love of OOKs um it was like a big reason of why I started YouTube at the beginning honestly I have like monster high to thing for a lot of stuff which is wild and now my video is getting ridiculously off topic and rambly so I really hope you enjoyed um I hope you're having a wonderful day or night day or night whenever you happen to be watching it um feel free to share your monster high memories in the comments because I love to read them and as someone who wasn't in the monster high phase as it was like coming out and stuff I love to hear people like talk about being like 12 or 10 or 14 or however old they were when it was like first coming out and like their excitement around getting dolls because I like never experienced that for myself. I've only like experienced it as like a 20 year old getting all these things secondhand. So it's like a very fun thing for me to read about everyone else's like monster head memory. So feel free to share them. Um, feel free if you make your own pair of earrings like this um, to tag me on um, Instagram or anything and like show me because I'd love to see. And um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I've rambled for enough so I will leave you to it. Have a good one and bye for now. See you in the next one.